I'm about to go to the gym. It has been a while since I vlogged, so I thought we could do a little day in the life and have a little catch up. As you may know, if you've been here for a while, I'm not a morning gym person at all, but I have recently been getting into the habit of it because I find if I want to get it done with work and everything, a certain time when I can make sure that I'm gonna get it done is in the morning. It's a much more protected time. And I've actually been really enjoying getting it done in the morning and then having the evenings to relax. Although I can be very tired and it can be hard to go to bed early enough or get enough sleep but we're getting there and I'm also trying to go like on all of the weekdays rather than the weekend because it always gets to the weekend and I don't really want to go and then I end up feeling guilty for not going when I have the time so I'm trying to go sort of like three or four mornings a week and do two gym sessions and then two runs a week but yes if I want to protect that time it's better that I do it in the morning and I've actually been really enjoying it I used to find it so hard to get up in the mornings and it's getting a little bit easier I wonder if that's because my frontal lobe has fully developed now that I'm 25 or if I'm yeah not really sure why maybe I just need less sleep I also wake up a bit earlier I think because I've just been a bit like I think I've just been feeling a little bit anxious I don't know where I'm going on to comment yet but we can talk about that later so just to give you an update before i head out the door because these videos are very sporadic now i am currently in my fifth seat it's my final week and i am currently sat in corporate finance if you don't know already each seat at my firm is three months so we rotate quite quickly um i have actually really enjoyed corporate finance i definitely prefer the more corporate side of things not a litigation disputes person i know where i'm going for my final seat which is back to real estate so i sat there in my third seat and i will be sitting there my sixth seat which is also my final seat before secondment and as I just said I don't know where I'm going on secondment yet but we find out on Friday it's this Friday so it's Tuesday today so in like three days and I'm feeling a little bit sort of a little bit nervous a little bit unsettled by the fact that I am not sure where I'm going to be going could be abroad it could be somewhere in London uh, one of our clients yeah either a network so a board's a comment to one of our offices abroad or a client's comment. And I genuinely think I'll be happy either way, but it's a little bit unsettling not knowing if I'm gonna be living abroad in three months time for six months. That will be the final six months of my training before qualification. It's all happening very quickly, but I'm actually quite close to qualification now. It does feel like a lifetime ago that I started, but I've learned so much since then. And yeah nearly going to be a qualified lawyer which is crazy so that is a little life update i have to head to the gym and then i'll head to work from there to eight i will probably have to very briefly log on again this evening but as you can see it's getting a little bit festive in our household and you guys will have seen i had a water drop electrolyte drink this morning and i was using my water drop water bottle which is my absolute favorite it's one liter so i need to know that i need to drink two of these a day basically if you haven't heard of them before i've worked with them a lot because i love them so much um water drop do micro drinks that you just drop into your water and they taste amazing full of vitamins and then the electrolyte one was also full of electrolytes i have them very frequently after i go for runs or just on a normal day because i enjoy them to rehydrate and they also have the water drop advent calendar which I am very excited for and I thought we could maybe open the first one or two together I don't know what's in here at all this is number one I don't do chocolate advent calendars anymore but these are very exciting have some candles I think there's three of these little candles on the 1st of December. I've actually already got a water bottle for someone. So great gift as well. So I will leave all of my discounts on screen and down below for you guys as well. So you can check them out if you want to.
we have dal cooking and I made eight portions of it so that we can have it for our lunches this week as well and maybe free summer because we're going away on Friday going back to my mum's because it's her birthday but I always cook very big batches of dinner so that we can have it for lunch the next day and then that's basically how I meal prep it's not by actually meal prepping and like spending Sunday doing or anything it's just by I would be cooking dinner anyway so I might as well make a huge batch of it and then have it for lunches for the rest of the week and then if I make a big batch tomorrow then it means that we can have it for like the dinner so ultimately you end up cooking less days of the week so if you can't be asked to meal prep on the weekend because weekend time is extremely precious and I also can't be asked to do that then would recommend this method of meal prepping because it saves a lot of time and I don't really want to cook every single night and this is super healthy so I don't sort of want to reach for something more convenient and less healthy so this is a sweet potato and red lentil dal and it's a slightly different recipe than I usually make. Let's do a taste test. That's really good.